One's gonna hit the bar, the other's going out. The Perlis. Boss says if we have to burn down half the hollow to get to Sammy, we're doing it. Ain't stopping till that old man is dead. Him, Ellis, and the other one. Lincoln Clay. He's the one. This time he won't get away from us. Should have killed that old man a long time ago. Think the boss was worried that Sammy would involve Marcano. Ask him to come down on us. That cracker asshole don't give a shit about some worn out nigga. Long as the money's coming in, Marcano don't care who's handing it to him. Fedodo, petty po mama. Fedodo, petty po mama. See baby, pa fedodo. Gran lulu va mange. Gran lulu va mange. See baby, pa fedodo. Gran lulu va mange. Looking good.
didn't find a good damn thing. Big mistake going after the hollow. The man you're talking about took me in when I had nowhere else to go. You are no better than you. Got you now! 
coming this way. You pick Watch out! Got nowhere to go! Got something! Fire! Keep him from moving! You're not with us! You are against us! Follow me, y'all. You out of your mind? That's a bullet for you! Get your people cut Don't down. think about it! Shoot him! Watch out! He stayed dead, not let him. Let's get back to Sammy's. Can't even tell you how happy Pops is gonna be. Man, this shit with the Haitians has been weighing on him. With them out the way, things will calm down. Go back to the way they should be. Been telling him for months we needed to do something like this, but Pops, he... I don't know. Sometimes I think he's lost the taste for this shit. Just because a man don't rush to violence don't mean he lost something. I know, just makes me wonder what happens after, you know? No, I don't know. Explain it to me. It don't matter if it's a bullet or the hand of God. We all go sometime, right? I suppose. But Ellis, we don't need to talk, but... I pray that Pops outlives the both of us. But if he doesn't, every motherfucker in the hollow's gonna be looking to us or gunning for us. Just saying we gotta be ready when that day comes. Yeah, well, that's not something we gotta worry about right now. So just cool it with your grand plans, all right? Yeah, all right. The thing Lincoln didn't understand, or maybe want to understand, is that for a man like Sammy, there's always going to be more Haitians. Now, if there wasn't someone going after Sammy, then there was someone else forcing him into a bad situation. It was never going to end. That's how Lincoln ended up working for Sal Marcano. You were right about those Haitians being down by that old salt mine. They won't be bothering us again. It was a mistake sending you down there. I should handle my own business. This isn't any different than what I was doing before I left. You probably don't know this. But every night on the TV, 
Right after the news? They show the names of all the boys killed over there in Vietnam. I'd be sitting in the kitchen eating my supper, watching that list scroll by, wondering if today is the day I finally see your name. But you never did. Nothing happened to me. There's only so much luck down the way. Sooner or later, pull up that bucket, there's nothing in it. So, what are we gonna do about Marcano? Pay him his goddamn money one way or the other. Lottery gonna be enough to cover it? The lottery? <laughs> no. But Sal called a bit ago. Wants you to meet him up the country club. Says he's got something in the works. Square things up between us. The only black folk allowed in there to help. Now, they may not like it. But they're not gonna say no to Sal Marcano. He says you get to come in, you get to come in. Fine. I always did want to see the inside of that place. You need to do whatever Sal asks, yeah? For all our sakes. Yes, sir. Just hits the spot. You all out there know what I'm talking about. Yes, you do. Oh, and Nancy wanted me to remind y'all that Tasty Patisserie is still filling orders for king cakes for the upcoming Mardi Gras festivities. Now, you tell her Remy sent you, and it's buy two, get one free. Can't beat that. So go on over there and tell her I sent you. I know, I know. I'm not supposed to enjoy my coffee on air. Come in as I Gilbert's turning red, folks. <laughs> oh, I tell you, we like to have our fun, dear listener. And that's what Mardi Gras is gonna be all about. Good old-fashioned New Bordeaux F-U-E. And if I sound a little...